Hi everyone, it's Michael. So I have a superb problem for you today. Uh, this problem was posted by the user Kenny O on, Art, on the Art of Problem Solving Forum. And he said that it's from some IMO. So I'm not sure which year it is, but apparently it's um, an IMO problem. Uh, so if you'd like to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so I'm gonna go over the solution. So we have a triangle ABC with in circle I and it touches B, C, C, A, and A, B at points D, E, and F. We let M be the midpoint of B, C, and the perpendicular line to I, M through D uh, passes through or, or intersects E, F at point P, and we want to show that A, P is parallel to B, C. So the reason why I like this problem so much is uh, my solution ended up using so much of what I've covered on poles and polars um, in my previous videos. Um, so if you haven't seen those videos, I'd recommend checking it out for um, watching this video. Um, so my solution was actually the same as another poster uh, on the Art of Problem Solving Forum, and it just shows the power of poles and polars uh, to create a very clean solution for these kind of problems. All right, so let's get started. Um, so the first thing I noticed is uh, since P lies on EF, uh, P is on the polar of A, okay? Because uh, the line connecting the two tangents from A to the in circle, so the line EF is the polar of A um, from my video 75 on my channel. And then also, not only that, but there's a certain symmetry here. So MD is tangent to the in circle. Um, so if we label this other point here, which I'm going to label a G, uh, since IM is perpendicular to uh, DG, it turns out that MG also has to be tangent to the end circle. So I'm going to write this out. So since MD is tangent to the end circle and MI is perpendicular to DG, um, which I've written here, uh, by symmetry MG also has to be tangent to the end circle. Okay. All right. So that means that not only does P lie on the polar of A, but P also has to lie on the polar of M. Because if MD and MG are both tangent to the N circle, then DG is the polar of M with respect to the N circle. So P is actually the intersection of the polars of both A and M. And so by my video 75, um, AM is actually the polar of P. So I'm gonna write this out. So DG is the polar of M with respect to the N circle, because it, it's the line connecting the two points of tangency. And EF, um, since AF and AE are tangents, uh, line uh, EF is the polar of A, because that's the line connecting the two points of tangency. Okay, so FE is the polar of A. And so P is the intersection of those two polars with respect to A and M. And so that means that AM is the polar of P. Uh, that's also from my video 75. Okay, so P is the intersection of those two polars. And so from video 75, and this is a consequence of Lahire's theorem, uh, AM is the polar of P with respect to the N circle. All right. Uh, so where do we go from here? So I'm going to draw in that polar segment. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use another fact. And this is one of the more advanced facts on polars that I proved in video 76. So if we let AM intersect EF at a point, so I'm going to call it H. Uh, by my video 76, uh, we can say something about the cross ratio E. F H P. Um, it actually has to equal one that cross ratio. Um, so I'm going to write this out. But this is uh, that really amazing fact that connects um, polars to cross ratios. Okay. So since H lies on the polar of P, because H is on A M, then the cross ratio E F H P has to equal one. All right. So where do we go from there? Well, we can take these four points in the cross ratio and we can project them through A and onto the line BC. 
Okay, so what happens then? Uh, if we project uh, E through A, it goes to point C. If we project F through A, it goes to point B. If we project H through A, it goes to point M. And if we project P through A, well, we don't know where it intersects BC yet, so we'll just say AP intersect BC, but we ultimately want to show that AP is parallel to BC. So that would be the same as showing they intersect at the point in infinity. All right, so that's what we want to show. So I'm going to write some of this out. So if we project through A onto line BC, then the cross ratio EFHP is equal to the cross ratio C, B, M, and whatever this intersection of AP and BC is, and now we're well on our way to solving the problem because we know this cross ratio is equal to one. So if we write out, if we wrote out the definition of this cross ratio on the right side, well, the first term of it would be CM over BM, but CM over BM is equal to one. Okay. So if CM over BM is equal to one, and that's the first fraction in this cross ratio, then the other fraction also has to be equal to one. So wherever AP and BC intersect, um, it has to divide the segment BC into a one-to-one -one ratio. And here it is pretty clear that it doesn't cut BC at its midpoint. Um, and so be because uh, PG uh, intersects BC at point D, and so from there it's clear that AP uh, can't intersect BC at its midpoint. Um, so the only other option is if AP meets line BC at the point at infinity. Uh, this is the exact same strategy I used in my very last video. Um, if, if a certain point divides a segment into a one-to-one -one ratio and it's not the midpoint, it has to be the point at infinity. So AP intersect BC has to be the point at infinity since this cross ratio as a whole is equal to one. So I'm gonna write that out. So this cross ratio, it's equal to this, which is equal to one. And so since the first fraction in it is, is equal to one, CM over BM, we have to have AP intersects BC at the point at infinity on line BC. And so from there, we can it follows that AP is parallel to BC and that solves the problem. So it's, it's really cool how poles and polars and theorems about cross ratios can give a very simple solution to this problem. Um, so I really enjoyed just seeing uh, my videos on poles and polars in action. And this was in fact the very first problem that I saw on the Art of Problem Solving Forum uh, right after I posted those videos. So that was pretty cool to, to see it applied like that. Uh, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks, everyone.